Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to add the average engagement time per session in a Looker Studio report. As many of you notice, for some reason Looker Studio doesn't give this metric by default. So when we have a scorecard or when we create a graph or a chart and we go here on the right hand side and we look at metrics, we cannot find metrics like bounce rate, we cannot find metrics like the average engagement time per session and therefore we need to create these metrics before we go straight to the point as usual please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel it helps tremendously to create new content thank you very much in advance and let's go straight to the point so here i have a scorecard and what we need to do now is we need to click here on the right hand side we need to create a field we're going to name this average engagement time per session. And the formula that we're going to put here is extremely simple. So we are going to select user engagement. For those of you who don't know what user engagement is, it stands for the amount of time in seconds that people actually spend on your website. And we're going to divide that by sessions. And therefore, we are going to create the metric average engagement time per session. And to be 100% correct, this is in seconds, basically, the number we're going to get. Then we're going to click on apply. And that's it. So 46.82 seconds is the average engagement time per session that people spend when they come to this website. You can do exactly the same thing in any chart. So as usual, let me show you this one too so here we have a column chart let's say that we want a weekly chart so we want the average engagement time per session per week in an ascending order so same thing here we're going to go on the right hand side we're going to click we're going to click on create a field we're going to create the net metric average engagement time per session in seconds and here we're going to put the formula user engagement. So we have user engagement divided by sessions. And we're going to click on apply. And that's it. So if you want, you can also go to style here and show the data label so you can see the average engagement time per session in seconds and you can see the actual numbers every week. That's how easy it is to create this metric. If you like this video and if you are able to do that, please subscribe to our YouTube channel one more time. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.